and our ancient forefathers. So today we're going to go into the book of Genesis chapter 1, verse 1, and we're going to read it in the ancient Asherah Kodash, and then we're going to read it in the English from that time forth. Now this is what it says in Genesis chapter 1, and we're going to start at verse 1. In Asherah Kodash, it, it, was, it, was, it, was, uh, it would have been read like this during the time when we was in the temple and in Jerusalem. It says here, Genesis chapter 1, verse 1, it said, then it says, Allah. Now, what does that say in English? In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Y'all hear that word there? Shalom, well, or, and when you hear it in the Lord's Prayer, when we say it in the last one, on the chart, it'll say, Our Father which are in heaven, it will say, Abba Lava, Shabbat Shemayim. You hear that? Mayim. So Shabbat Shem means, which are in. Heaven is in this context, a Mayim. So the Hebrew is vast, it's beautiful, it's holy, and you must learn it. So let's read on from there, Father. Right. Right. Verse 2, Genesis chapter 1, verse 2. And the earth was without form and void. So this illustration that you see up here showing you the illustration of getting these pictures in your mind. The most high made the earth out of the elements of space. He stopped with his forces in the heavens and by his hands he made these things. Now, we got to prove this because uh, let's go to Psalms 33 6. You're coming here. Let's go to Psalms 33 6. And read that, you're coming. Can you read that? Uh, let me get it. I got it. I got it. I was on mute. Okay, this is Psalms 33 and verse 6. By the word of Yahweh were the heavens made. See? By the word of Yahweh were the heavens made. So when he said that in the beginning, and we read it in Lashawak Kodash, when he says in the beginning, Yahweh created the heavens and the earth. Now, that word. God in the Bible would have been known as Allah Do you hear that word? Allah mm -hmm. That means the powers. So read your Psalms again. Uh, you're coming. Psalms 33 and verse 6. By the word of Allah Hayyam, where the heavens made, and all the hosts of them by the breath. Now, Yahweh was directing the Alahan. You understand that? Because why do, when he translated the Hebrew from the Hebrew to the English, whenever he got to our creator's name, certain scholars put the angels there because the Most High was orchestrating all this. So his Alahans, the forces of the angels, they were going by his what? Part one of the most highest works from the beginning of the world. This is part one. And we're going to show you how the most high started this earth right here in the heavens. And what he did with his fingers and his hands is he started creating this little world that we have here called in Hebrew. The earth is called Allah Tazah. Earth. That's what it was called in Rosh Hashanah. So when we say Allah to the earth. Today they call it the earth in, in English, and why is English? Because we're going to be speaking in a stammer and living in another tongue. But that's how we say earth right then. We say Allah to the earth. So he made this heavens, he stopped with his forces. Yahweh was directing his angels and his Allahams to do this and do that. 
Okay, he's in control of everything. He ain't got to get off his throne and make nothing. He can tell the angels. Come here. Tell you in the scriptures, all the hosts of angels are around this throne. This one angel came to him and he said, what should you be? He said, I will go down as a lion spirit. He said, go down. See, they come to serve the most high, just like when he's making a creation. The angels was being directed by him. He said, put this over here. Do this and do that. And he did it. See? We don't all follow out. Right. Without form and void. And darkness was upon the face of the deep. So the darkness was was talking about space. At that time, he stopped in there with his forces in the Isle of Hams. Yahweh was sitting on his throne directing the Isle of Hams to do what? To start making this earth that we have here. I'm going to hit y'all with something. There's other planets out there on life form. There's other dimensions out there that the most high made. We're not alone in the universe. You see that universe out there? With all them stars and, and things out there, Whitey is just touching on what's out there. When the most high got out there, you, you wouldn't even understand. The most high made everything. Stop believing what these bumped out scientists say. They don't know the difference between a man and a woman. We don't, brother. Come. And the spirit of Yahweh moved upon the face of the water. So there's waters in the, in the heavens. Do y'all hear that? What they found on the moon? Ice. They found ice on the moon, didn't they? So there is waters up there in the heavens outside of this atmosphere of the earth. Go ahead. Uh, verse 3. And Yahweh said, let there be light. And there was light. So he shined this circle in the air. And he said, illuminate it. The angels illuminate it. The Isle of Hattons. Go ahead. Verse 4. And Yahweh saw the light that it was good. Then he had to inspect it. And he said, good job, Isle of Hattons. He checked it out. That's what he wanted. Me. And Yahweh divided. And Yahweh divided the light. From the dark. So then he divided the light from the darkness. He split it in the heavens. So this thing was in the heavens forming like this. And it lit up and it was bubbling like that in the heavens. Guess what that was going to be? Let's read on. God, verse 5. And Yahweh called the light day. And the darkness he called night. So then he made it into day and night. So he had this sphere in the, in, the, in the heavens. He lit it up. He told it, our hands, make it light up, split it. One side is called day, the other is called night. Don't we have that on the earth now? Look up in the heavens. What do you see up there? When it's getting dark, you say, hey, dinner time. <clears throat> night time comes, and, oh man, I gotta wait till tomorrow because I ain't got no light. And if you look up, the sun is down, what's, what's lighting up the heavens? There's something in the Bible I'm going to show you today that they don't teach you about in science. This is what they're destroying right now with pollution. And this is why the earth is in the condition it's in. Because Yahweh affected this creation from the beginning. And man has destroyed it. And man, according to Revelations 11 and 18, is in trouble. And what man is that? Esau, the so-called white man. Moving on, read on, brother. And the evening and the morning were the, were the first day. So was this a first day like today, we in the Shabbat? The sun goes down in the evening. Was that talking about that type of day, people? No. You come here. <clears throat> Give me Psalms 90 and 4. A day when he did all of this, and this thing was up there in the heavens like that. It took how long? Let's read it. Uh, this is the book of Psalms, chapter 90, and verse 4. For a thousand years in thy sight, how but as yesterday. See? As of yesterday. So a day with the most high is a thousand years. That's why Peter said that. And a thousand years is one day. 
So it took her 1,000 years to do this. Just to light it up, stop in the heavens with this sphere, and it was lit up in a circle, floating in the heavens. You know? Our bad is yesterday. When it is past. See? When it is past. So, just like that day, don't win already, the most high to him, a thousand years, is just like to us a regular day. That's how one at a time. Is it okay? The thousand years is up. Let's do this. He running everything, people. So, we don't. Oh, uh, 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 verse 6. And your house said, let there be a firmament, firmament in the midst of the waters, and let it divide the waters from the waters. Verse 7, and Yahweh made a firmament and divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament, and it was so. You know what that is? He put a ring around the earth. You ever seen in those satellite photographs? You see that little blue front dome around the earth? Mm -hmm. That's what he's talking about right here. That is what you call the ozone layer. This little ozone layer is keeping out the negative forces of the most high school. He said the heavens are filled. You got all type of radiation out there, that's what a white man called it. And you got all type of debris, you got uh, uh, rocks floating around, all type of stuff out there. But the Most High made all of that. And he knows what it is, and he warns us about it. So this little ozone layer was put around, and then you had the sphere underneath that. So what did he do next, Ray? Verse 8. And I will call the firmament heaven, and the evening, and the morning, we're the second day, the second thousand year. The word heaven is Maya, meaning he put that ozone around the earth. And underneath it was light and day. And that took 2,000 years. Y'all understand that? So the second thousand year of the creation, the Most High did that with the outer hands. Go ahead. Verse 9, and Yahweh said, Let the waters under the heaven be gathered together unto one place. Then the ocean sploosh. That ocean ain't no joke, is it? Mm -hmm. He took the elements and the outer hands, brought forth the waters. And this thing is floating in the heavens, and it became one, called now the ocean. Mm. Now you tell me that came from an explosion, like they said, and what they call the Big Bang Theory. That's a lie, man. Right? Why is a lie on all our avenues, government and religion? The most high made those oceans, man, and even their satellites and their little probes to find other planets with ice on it, don't they? And they want to go down in there and see if they can drink the water so they can put a probe out there and go on the planets. <laughs> you go out there, man, you're going to die, man. The most high they make man to go out there, he said, the heavens were made for you to be on the, on the earth. This way he made man as well. That's why when they go out there, they got to put on a what? Space suit. Then that radiation and all that stuff is going through their bodies. And when they come back down there, it affects them. Why? Because he made you to live on this earth, man. And he put these layers around the earth. Then he put that ocean in there. And that ocean was a sphere of water floating in the heavens. Read on. Unto one place. And let the dry land appear. And the dry land came out. It appeared. See this promise? There was one piece of land in the beginning. And it came up out of the elements and the outer hands made it. Look at the rocks in the earth today. Don't you see all various type of rocks? Different colors. They want peace right here. I got it in the studio. Look at this. They want a rock. I picked this up off the beach. You see this? This was created by the most high. 
You see the lava and all the energy coming out of the earth when you see them making them more islands? That's the forces of the Alahans and the Most High doing it from his creation. This rock came out of the elements and now it's called a rock today. The earth and the oceans were made by the Most High and you go by the ocean and you see the water splashing on the beach, don't you? How come the earth don't blow up and the water don't go out in the atmosphere and the rocks and everything split because the Most High got forces on this earth through his creation holding everything together. And here's a piece of his creation right here called a common rock. Here you go right here. Go in your backyard, dig up your backyard. He made that. The trees, you see, I gave you. Oh, you don't read about it. Read on, brother. And, and it was so. Verse 10. And Yahweh called the dry land earth. And the gathering together of the waters called he seas. So then he brought forth the earth and the seas. He split it. He put the boundaries of the earth. Do you ever see the ocean taking over the beach? Never. That water is fierce. It be whoosh. I fish all the time. And you see the water go back in, but it can't come up on this, the land and take over the land. Why? Because the most high made it. You see, you stay in your place, and the earth comes forth out of the waters, and now you got dry land. You know, and your heart so that it was good. And he said, it's good. He said, I like it. I love that. You ever go by the beach, you see that beautiful scenery, and you see the sky, and you see the ozone, and you see the, the clouds, and you see the water in this order, and the earth in this order. Man didn't make that. Neither did an explosion. That was made by the hands of your heart. I pray. You know. Verse 11. And Yahweh said, let the earth bring forth grass, the herb yielding seed, and the fruit, fruit tree yielding fruit after his time, whose seed is in itself upon the earth. And it was so. So everything was made to bring forth itself. Take an apple tree, put it in your backyard, and five years, what it's going to be? It's going to be an apple tree. It's going to grow out the ground. He was like, man, I put this little tree, little seed in the ground. Look at it now. And you go out there and it brings forth what? You pluck it off. What's on the tree? You got an apple. Where did it come from? From that seed. Do you know these seeds of plants and these seeds of trees been regenerating themselves since the, the creation? What is Bible trying to do now? Show you these contrary to doctrine. Making grapes without seeds. Making oranges without seeds. He's tampering into everything the most I made to make it his way. He's turning men into women and women into men. Is that possible? No, it's not. It's not possible. It's evil. It's evil science and thinking of men. The perverting the creation of the most high. We don't bubble. John verse 12. And the earth brought forth grass and herb yielding seed after his kind, and the tree yielding fruit whose, whose seed was in itself. So the seed, the act, the, the, the plants re, replenish themselves. They grew from the elements of the dirt, the ocean, the water, that was raining. And when they grew, they had other fruits. And when they fell off the tree, what did they bring forth? Other trees, other grass seeds. You see all this grass is out here? It's been here for hundreds of years, thousands of years, since the creation. The trees, you see them. You go out state New York, go on in places out there in Wyoming where no man, no man lives. You see trees all over the place, don't you? Now, some of them trees are a thousand years old, man. You see? Because the most high made all of that. Go ahead. After his time, and Yahweh saw that it was good. Verse 13, and the, e and the evening and the morning were the third day. The third thousand year, he brought all forth the, the plants and the animals, and set the oceans and the land in order. The earth looked like a green forest, man. It, it had natural fog on it, it was raining, sun, 
moon and stars ain't made yet, but he had that firmament around him. The firmament gives you light. I'm hitting y'all with something. The sun is up there later on. So the firmament, if you look at it, look at look at the sunset this evening and watch the sun go down and you see the firmament dark over here and light over there, right? Genesis chapter 1, proving the Bible. Trees and seeds of plants and all type of various of beautiful, beautiful fruits, pineapples, apples, grapes, made by itself, by the creator, Yahweh. It's still here, brothers and sisters. Read on. Verse 14. And Yahweh said, Let there be lightness in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night. So then started forming this galaxy we got here. <laughs> you see up there, you ever look at, I know y'all live in the cities. Go in the suburbs and look up at night or go in the desert. You will be shocked to see up there because you don't see nothing because you're in captivity. The mother nations go out there and they see stars. What do you think they started worshiping the stars in the heavens for? Because you see it in its natural element. The skies filled up with stars and galaxies out there. And he put that up there by his own hand. Go ahead. And your house said, let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to, to divide the day from the night. So at night, you see the stars come out, right? In the daytime, you see what? You see the sun and you see the ozone. The ozone gives you the light that you see out here right now with the sun. But first, the ozone lights up. Look in the east in the morning, and you see that ozone lighting up, and you see over here it's dark. That's the ozone lighting up, that little firmament right there around the earth right now. You see that? He made that for us. And the white man is tearing it down with pollution and aerosols and atomic bomb tests and damn cars. Acid rain is coming down on us now, ain't it? You ever go out in the rain and you go home and you be <laughs> your glands be swelling up, you feel weak and weary. Why? Because this man done polluted the damn water in the air. They got this crap all over the earth. Cars everywhere. It wasn't like that during the time of the Babylonians, the Koshites. It wasn't like that during the time, even during the time of the early kingdom and the Greeks. The most high made this man to come out to destroy, the, the waste of the destroy in the last stages. So in the, in the beginning, all this was natural. You used to be able to look up there at night and see all the heavens. You look up there in the city at night, what do you see? <laughs> Small. <laughs> we don't know. And let them and let them be for signs. And for the and for seasons and for days and years. So what did he do with that? That was uh, dealing with the uh, the moon and, and and so forth. When you see the new moon come in, we used to measure uh, the months and the years with the new moon. Let's prove that that Yahweh did that for us. We don't do it no more. We practice and rehearse it now. But in ancient times, that was a way that we kept the uh, months and the years in Israel. Let's go to Psalms, right? Um, 81. And let's read Psalms 81 verse 1, you're coming in. Alright. This is the book of Psalms chapter, uh, chapter 81 verse 1. Sing aloud unto the powers out of strength. Make a joyful noise unto him. The power of now you see the Negroes in the church and that negativity battleism, right? What are they doing in the church right now? They got tambourines. <laughs> now they get that from? That's their ancient customs. What's the knowledge of their heads right now? The mark of the damn weeks. Why do you know what he did to you? He wanted to control you, so he had to ultimately destroy you, take your nationality, take your identity, and say, you are the children of hell. According to the Bible, you're supposed to be a slave. See? You shall say, and, and they go, yes, sir, boss. Uh-huh. You better wake up, brother. 
You better wake up, man. This man are lying to us. He told Jacob and Esau, the elder gonna serve the younger. We came out second, he came out first, but he was not the one, so he's still doing that to us today, persecuting us. But when that time comes, he's going to get his. Revelations 13, 9, and 10 is coming for the white world. Read on, brother. Uh, Jacob's son and bring him to the dead. So we're going to start buying these instruments and start doing what? Read. Blow up the trumpet in the new moon. What's today? We have the new moon. It's a new month. See, right now, everything is off, so we're rehearsing everything. We're in this captivity. In Israel, the trumpets were blown. Woo! The grand horns. And everybody knew the new moon is here, and we went up and we celebrated, and we brought in songs, and we brought in uh, gifts to give to the priests. Hell, the priests didn't have to work. You see them old jackknife preachers? That's where they get that from. But they're not the ones. We took care of the priests by bringing them food, and we had supported them because that was part of our heritage and nation, and those were the Levites back then, known as the children of uh, Haitians today, but today all Israel could be priests today. All the tribes could come in under Yahushua and be priests. Back then, that was the way it was. So Yahushua brought in the new order in the book of Hebrews and the Reformation. Now all of us can become priests. Judah, Benjamin, Levi, see, we don't. Uh, in the time of Moses, the son of Nun, the son of Nun, the son of the time of Nun, so we had a time appointed according to our law. Yahweh made that from the beginning. And during those days when it was appointed, we had to go into the scriptures and say, New Moon is coming, okay, 14 days after that. Ha -ha. Ha -ha. The Passover. That's the new year. Then we got together and we blew the horns and everybody drank the wine and the lamb. What are they doing now? Oh, we don't drink wine no more. Grape juice. We drink and drink grape juice. What? We have a state with the Passover dinner. What? We got Gentiles up in here. What? The hell is going on, man? We, when we see that, we're going to tell you about it. We're going to come to your school and say, brother, we can't go die. Mm -hmm. Get out of here. All right, we're going to leave. We're going to shake your mouth. Let's go, brother. Let's go down to the next person. And if you don't take heed to what the Lord's servant say, according to Matthew 10, 5, and 6, on down, you're going to burn in hell. And my life. You'll see. Get on, brother. Well, this was a statue for Israel. No, the world. For who? For Israel. And the world. Okay. So this was a law for us. We had this law. We were supposed to come up for the Shabbat. The brothers coming to the Shabbat today, you doing the right thing and you sisters for the most high. And you shall receive a blessing. The ones you going to church tomorrow, your ass is off. And we keep telling y'all to come from Baalism and come from among them. The most high didn't make that in the beginning, did he? No, he didn't. We don't. Verse 5. This is ordained in Joseph for a testimony when he went out through the land of Egypt, where I heard a language that I understood not. So they were in that detail. You never had a court to me. You ever heard them damn hand like speak? You did not speak comedic, man. No. We didn't speak like that. They called us Kimuru. In the records of history. That's what they call us, Kiba rules, in their language. And when the West Coast of Africa sold us, going into another part of our history, from, from the home in Ashanti, they knew they were selling the Hebrews. And guess what, people? There's a colony over there called Liberia. And one day we're going to get on a plane and go over there, and we're going to speak to them right away. And they over there. We're going to say, Look, man, you the Israelites, you in another land, worshiping another God. And you're in hell. 
Who are you brothers? Who are we? We in Matthews 10, 5, and 6. That's who we are. We don't walk sheep in the house of Israel. We don't woke up to our king and our creator's knowledge. And now we're going to tell you. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. So Yahweh made this in the beginning and gave us the timeline and he gave us the months and the years. When we came out of Egypt, a belt was the beginning of our year. Then after that, we had all high holy days and feast days and Maccabees and tabernacles and Shabbats every seventh day we rehearse it. And this is how you get the worship today. Do y'all understand that? And that's what the Most High gave us, people. Let's go back to um, Genesis chapter 1. We know that's our Genesis chapter 1, verse 15. And let them be for light in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth. And it was so. Don't you look up at night? What do you see on a clear night? I see stars. I see chariots around here too. I see the chariots up there walk, flying around little dots up there. I see. Shall my brothers got ephods. Yeah, they go up there. Up there. You see them up there. The ephods is up there, man. I'm tell you that in the Bible when you see an ephod, what that mean? That's a curse in that earth. When you see them ephods, brother, watch out. I've seen them up there, but I ain't never seen one come down here yet. When they come down here, those are the angels of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, man. And one day we gonna meet some of them when we meet the Lord in the air. So, read on, brother. Verse 16. And Yahweh made two great lights, the greater light to rule the day, daytime, and the lesser light to rule the night. And nighttime. Did we come out of nighttime yes, the, 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 the hours ago? Yeah. I woke up and oh, we got to do the Shabbat service. I said, hey, here we go. Yeah, my breakfast, go say my prayers up on the hill, and come down here and get dressed, take a shower, make sure you take a shower, and come to the Shabbat service. After you got up your funky jobs. Because I know we in captivity and brothers are struggling to get here. Psalms 42 tells you that. Go to there real quick, uh, you're coming up. Go to Psalms 42, I believe. This is what you got to do in this time because we're in captivity. You're going to be struggling to get in because the devil don't want you to learn nothing. And he wants you to go to church on Sunday with him so you can be written on the same list. Guess what? We ain't written on the same list. We written on this list for right to get. So the most I gave us this, right? Uh, I think it's Psalms 40. Yeah, Psalms 42. Read that there, are you coming? This is the book of Psalms, chapter 42, from the top. Mm -hmm. As the heart panted after the water brooks, so panted, so my soul after thee, O Tower. Oh, oh, oh yeah, how? <laughs> what you, well, I gotta go. Where you going? I'm so with you, brother. I, I gotta go to the Shabbat. That's how I'll be. I like to be like, you know, I'll be like, ah, shut down, up. No. Hey, hello. Yeah, no. no. I gotta go, man. Because we be panting, because now we gotta go and gotta go before the most high. The most high is looking at us right now. Psalms 14. So I had to tell you that. We you don't. Know? Uh, my soul thirsty for your house. So you're thirsty for what? His water. You come here, you want the water. You got to hang out. I don't understand this part of the Bible. I say, okay, brother, we're gonna feed it to you. Here you go. Here you go. It's free. See, we're not like them other congregation. You want the Bible? Yeah. Come in. Oh, let me see. Oh. Pat him down. All right. Take a photograph of the brother. Click. All right. Run through the police database. Uh, is he a thief? I mean, damn, man. What the hell is going on? Are you Israelites trying to get the people to be picked, or are you trying to put them on a police state? Here at the base, you call, you're going to go under the law. You're going under the law of the law. The discipline is the law, man. Not no damn police department, man. And these brothers out here doing that when the time come. So it's 149, brother. We coming to get you. Okay? According to the orders of the most high. You ain't right in that day. He's going to say, get away from me, you workers of iniquity. And they're going to be real swords in that day. When the house shop come back here. And when he give me that order, it's going to be 
So, uh, Jeremiah 16, 16. Fishing now, killing late. And it's coming, people. It's coming. We know you're coming. Verse 2. My soul thirsted for your hour, for the living hour. And shall I come and appear before the hour. What did the most high teach us in the Bible? Come before him with joy. Come before him on the days of plenty. See, your brothers learn that they will stop beating each other in the street, stop killing each other, stop raking on each other, because some of y'all look like clowns. They look like bones, man. And I'll be looking at you, I'll be like, what the hell are you talking about, man? Brother Stan in there. Shabbat, you know, I'm like, man, where y'all getting this information from, man? Oh, here's a bunch of t shirts. Yeah. And you're just throwing them out to the brothers, man. Go to them brothers' minds up and teach them how to wear these garments. You see this? Pour them blue all the way down to the ground, robes at the hour shot. He said he wore a garment all the way down to the foot. He wore the fringes, he wore the turbans. And all this is our, our heritage, man. Come out of that stuff, man. We don't. God, my tears have been my meat day and night. While they continually say unto me, Where is thy power? Yeah, because we, we come with your house and they be like, Who? Who's that? To the one in the book in Hebrew. Who? Elohim, no, no. Elohim is the angels. Yahweh is the power. Yahweh Shai, Ayah, Mashasha is the king, the Lord, right? the Savior. We gotta learn these things. Go ahead. God, when I remember these things, I pour out my soul in me. For I have gone with the multitude. So at one time we was with the multitude. Then the most high gave us our calling, and we came into the straight gate. The straight gate gonna be doing this in this time. Great. Uh, for I had gone with the multitude, I went with them to the house of Yahweh, with the voice of my joy and praise, with the multitude that kept that kept holy day. So we got Quadash Yahweh. If you ain't keeping Kwadash Yawam, you keeping an old ho holidays, you are off, man. That's right. If you got brothers coming in there talking about, turn around, get your hands on the wall. Man, I ain't getting on no damn wall for you, brother. Just to see a damn clown on a damn pulpit, I'm a priest, I can preach. They're going there saying, what the hell's going on with Israel? Slave mentality, man. The most high said this should not be among us. And because you got on purple and he got on green and you got on another, you can wear what damn color you want to wear, brother. Here at the base. As long as it's according to your law. You put your spirit in it, brother. And when you see your brother, you say, Shalomai, Allah, Allah, peace be on you, brother. If you got the spirit of Yahweh in you, you're coming in peace. But no, we got brothers out there jumping on each other because somebody knocked over your little stinking table. How embarrassing, man. We don't. Uh, let's try. Why art thou cast down, O oh my soul? And why art thou disquieted in me? Hope thou in God. Hope thou in your house. For I shall really praise him. For the help of his counsel. Hope in Yahweh. You see all this stuff going on. Go give yourself into the ministry of the word, the prayer, and this doctrine right here for the Bible. Keep yourself in this, man. Go back to Genesis and read on. We find out about the beginning of the creation, and we're going to find out about the Most High's works in this series, so we will know. Read on. And the left of light to rule the night. He made the stars also. So the stars is up there. Ain't they up there now? No. Everybody tonight in your state where you at, go outside and send me a picture of the stars from your province. Send it to the base. 
So go to Israel at gmail.com, show me the stars in the heavens so I can see where you at. Go ahead. That's your assignment for today. Read on. Uh, verse 17. And Yahweh set them in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth. So don't you see the stars giving light upon the earth? What you see now? Damn city lights all over the damn place in smog. That's the world we're living in now, the Esau belt. Read on. Verse 18. And, and to rule over the day and over the night and to, and to divide the light from the darkness. And Yahweh saw that it was good. So night and day comes and it goes. Every day, every evening, the sun goes down, goes on there, uh, the firmament turns dark and you see the heavens. Every day is in order with his hand. Ready? Verse 19. And the evening and the morning were the fourth day. What day was that? 4,000 years. Wait a minute now. The earth is 10 million years old. 4,000 years this took place. What else did he do? Verse 20. And Yahweh said, let the waters bring forth abundantly. The moving creature. Is man a creature? Yes, we all have life. And that has life. life. We came forth from where? The waters, brothers. Oh. We were paths, seeds, and they opened up in the humans. And the humans that came forth do the same thing as apple seeds, orange seeds, and cherry seeds. What do they do? Humans bring forth their nation and that you How the hell a baby in a mess bed go make a baby? Mm -hmm. That's why when I go to the grave, you go to shame. And you gotta go up before it goes out there and get burned and damn spirit don't get burned before it's gone. Tell you that revelation on. You've been lied to by the pastors. The sinister ministers are out of you, man. They're going to get millions of people burnt to hell. The hell is going to be before the Most High's throne. That's where the throne of judgment takes place. And there's a pit of fire that get, people get thrown into right before the Most. You don't go, you don't go underground. There ain't nothing underground. We made a series on it. <laughs> what the hell is on the ground? My wife. Wow. There ain't no wild on the ground, man. When you get up there before the most high and you ain't written in the book of uh, remembrance, you're behind getting burnt up. So what? Sins against the laws of life. So you faggots and lesbians and you rainbow stealers who stole the most high rainbow, we're going to show you in this series that rainbow, and you stole it and put it up as a faggot flag. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You are disease walking pestilence. And you're a bunch of freaks. Don't bring that garbage around. We bad enough got to deal with whores, thieves, blasphemers, and now Sodom. Now we gotta we gotta get facts with Sodom and Gomorrah. This is where we at now in this Babylonian whore. We don't know that have life and found that may fly above the earth in the open firmament of heaven. Verse 21, and Yahweh created great whales. And he created great whales. See all these creatures down there, so many of them. I had to get a chart. He created whales. Go ahead. And every living creature. And every living creature. Go ahead. That moveth. And that moveth. Snakes, rats, cats. Dogs, pigs, everything in this order. Sharks, bluefish, I love bluefish, scallops. Lake, lake trout, all of that. The most high made all of that. They came forth from the sea. He just told them out of hands and made it and they formed. You ever see them babies forming in the womb? Who does that? That's the power of the most high. The sperm and the egg get together. And they form that little baby, and you decide just going there with a telescope, and they be like, oh, look at that. And you see the little cells splitting, 
That's the power of the Most High that's been going on since the beginning of time. When we came out of the waters, what do we form then when we have sex with a woman? The baby is formed in water, ain't it? In her womb. Not a lesbian or a faggot in somebody's ass. You cannot make no babies faggots. You're cutting yourself up. That's why the most high destroying our AIDS. And the vital up your butt ain't gonna save you. And got some of our people on these damn commercials. Look at me. Come on, I turn it off. Nasty Negroes, you're a bunch of damn freaks. That's why we got all this crap amongst us, man, following these Gentile ways. And two thirds of us are gonna get killed out of here, man. Let's read on in here. Which the waters brought forth abundantly after after their kind. And every wing, wing fowl after his kind. And Yahweh saw that isn't good. Verse 22. And Yahweh blessing them, saying, Be fruitful and multiply, and fill the waters in the seas, and let fowl multi multiply in the earth. So all the animals you see, then you had the flood, and all the animals you see now are alive because of the Most High's mercy. The dinosaurs you see in the museums, and all these big mammoths, and all these pterodactyls, they died in the flood. The Bible says there were giants in the earth in them days. Well, they're not. They're in a damn museum. The bones are being discovered in the desert, California, out there, all of that. Why? Because the earth had these creatures on them with us at that time. Adam and them saw dinosaurs. The earth was in one piece. You know? God, be fruitful and multiply and fill the waters in the seas and let the fowl multiply in the earth. Verse 23. And the evening and the morning were the were the fifth day. Fifth five thousand years it took to do all of this. From making light, earth, ozone, plants and trees, heavens, all creatures, plus man. Five thousand years. This proven. This proof. Why do you say the earth is 10 million years old? Really? What? Yeah. What? This man has changed the times and laws according to Daniel 725. Got the Gregorian calendar. Got everybody all mixed, mixed up. That's why he's called a great saint. We don't know. Him. Verse 24. And Yahweh said, Let the earth bring forth the living creature after his kind, cattle and creeping thing and beast of the earth after his coming and it was so mm -hmm. verse 25 and Yahweh made the beasts of the earth after his coming and cattle after their coming and everything that creepeth upon the earth after his coming and Yahweh saw that it was good mm -hmm. verse 26 and Yahweh said, let us make man in our image. And he said, let us make what? what? Let us make man in our image. No, no, a he, she. Let us make man in our image. No, I'm a man trapped in a woman's body. What, what the hell is going on today? He said, let us make man. He made man first because man was supposed to be upright, a dama. They were supposed to rule the earth under the laws like you brothers are supposed to rule your own home. And righteousness. That's right. The black woman was afraid of that boy. I don't know what they can tell you what to do. I'm going to get your ass out of here then. Okay? We don't want women like that, man. The most side said the woman's supposed to be dainty, pretty, submissive, and she's supposed to have kids, and cook, clean, and wash the house. Can you do that, Negro woman? No, you run in the street wearing orange sneakers and orange things up in your butt, walking around. Showing your body to the world and expect some brothers like us to say to you, Oh, boo, boo, baby. No, we see, we turn our back on Because you look like a stinking whore, and everybody is looking at you. Shame, shame, shame. And we're going to go on a series about that soon, too. Read on, brother. After our likeness, 
and let them have dominion over over the fish of the sea and and over the fowl of the air and over the cattle and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creepeth creepeth upon the earth. Mm -hmm. Verse 27. So Yahweh created man in his own image. In the image of Yahweh created he him, male and female. Created he them. So we're gonna stop here today. He made what? Male and, and female. Created he them. And that's what he made. The nations, sinful nations that's doing this today, we're gonna stop here in the series. They got a judgment coming according to this Bible, according to the book of Jude, verse 7. Faggots and lesbians out there, if you don't repent, you're going to burn before the Most High's throne, and you're going to die from plague coming from the hand of Yahweh Bashar Shah. He made male and female. Surgeons did not do this, the Most High did. You people out there that's doing that, these no good damn doctors, they're going to get you killed. They're putting them chemicals in the body. You don't know the results. Just like they didn't know the results about the steroids in the 80s. And it killed wrestlers in their 40s and 50s. It. So now they want to give a man breast so he can feed a baby. What's next, man? Huh? What's next with this madness? Now you want to pregnant a man? I want to see this. I want to see you die, man. Die, die, die. Because the most high said, if you sin against me, you wrong with your own soul, man. These are just the laws of life that the Most High put in this book. And he said he made male and female, and in his image, meaning his law. Man to be a man, you gotta be a man of the Most High, brothers. You don't be a man, don't let the woman tell you to be a man. You be a man of the Holocaust, you You keep these commandments. That's the whole duty of man. So the name of the Holocaust, you this is the first series of the Most High Plans for the beginning of the world. So I say Shalom, Allah, Allah, peace be unto you in the name of your Allah, Shalom, Shalom. Until next week, we will see you again. Shalom.